What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm going to do a quick video here showing you how to uh, kind of crop and export a surface out of Propeller so you can utilize it in uh, whatever program you're, you'd like to, whether you want to clean up the surface and play around with it a little bit or design something. Um, but I've just been doing this and showing this to people a lot lately because you, I'll show you here where we can export the entire uh, flight information. but it's sometimes nice if we don't want all that data. If we just want a little area, we can do that as well too. So, so in our this is just a little residential demo site here. But um, so typically when it comes up, you're going to be in the measure screen. Uh, if we go over here, we go to our outputs. Um, in here is where you typically would find your files. And we'll move my dome over here. If we click on files. This is where we would export. Let's see, these are the files that we got loaded in. Down here, you got your geotiffs, your LAS. Yeah, it's not everyone will have an option for a TTM. You got to select that when you process it, but most of them will have DTM. And then you can DXF, different densities of 10 faces. And then down here, you got DXF on one foot contours, two foot contours. Um, and then you got the full, full res DXF. Um, so all those different options, a lot of different things to work with there, but can be a little cumbersome if you're just trying to work in a small area. So what I'm going to show you is if I, let's, what we're going to do is we're just going to grab, I'll just do this area right here where my mouse is at. I'll show you how I'm just going to export just that. So if I go back to my measure, we're going to create a measurement and I don't have this one. I typically use surface area just because I think it's easy. Um, so I'm not going to get uber precise with this, but just kind of show you. Obviously, you can zoom in and get exactly what you want. But once it creates that, um, this is a demo site, so it's just telling me that won't be saved, which is fine. Um, once I create that, I should have the ability to right click on that measurement. So you can see I created the measurement. Now I've got an option here to export. So I have the option to export as a DXF outline, excuse me, KML, a DXF surface, including terrain cleanups, contours, or TTM. All these include terrain cleanups. If you didn't want them with train cleanups, you, I think you'd have to go and either delete the train cleanup or export the entire um, the entire data set. So let's just do TTM. Let's see if I can get Business Center open while it's doing that. So it should download that. So yeah, I'm downloading my TTM here. Okay. So basically what I did is grab just the surface information from the flight for that area. I'll throw it in the business center here once it opens up. But you can see it creates a measurement down here. I will tell you, anytime you create a measurement, it'll automatically, whatever the measurement type was, it'll default number it. Go ahead, if you click on it, you have the option, you can rename it in here. But you need to name it something that you understand because I get in these sometimes and there's like 17 different measurements and they're all just one, two, three, four, five, six, and it's very confusing as to what's what. So that would just be a little piece of advice I would say is make sure that you measure that. We'll, uh, give it just a second here. Should dump it in here and give us just that area that we measured. So you see, it's very dense. There is no way currently to change the density of the export. Um, I have talked to Propeller about that. I think them they're really good about adding that stuff when we ask for it. Um, so I'm sure at some point we'll have the ability to change the density of the export, but really nice if I just wanted to work in a particular area. I don't have to export this whole thing and deal with these huge massive files. 
importing and exporting and emailing and so on and so forth. So it just makes it nice if I'm just trying to work in a particular area. I can just grab that. So once again, primary files are in the outputs. Oop, that's because my little screen recorder thing's in the way. So what, I'll, I'll make other videos going through all this other stuff. But I get the most questions on files because we're creating data and we need to get a hold of that data and utilize it. And this is, you know, primarily where we go. So files, this will have, once again, these, these are the exports for the entire site. And then if you want to do a particular site, you can select, excuse me, different areas. And so you can draw that box however you want and utilize that to help create your, your surface. So. Hope that helps. If you guys got questions, as always, shoot us an email, DM, text, phone call, whatever works for you. Get a hold of us, leave a comment, and uh, we'll help you out however we can. Have a good one.